Welcome Hello. back to Ultra Kill. This is the, the final boss of violence. Yeah, this is the finale finale until the next time. Oh up. my. It's just like Call of Duty. Okay. Like antennas to the heaven. Okay, what does it want me to do now that I'm up here? I don't get it. There's a ledge right there. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. I don't like those guys. I don't like those guys. Our first death, it's not to the boss, it was to the street cleaners. Our first death in general on the playthrough. Ever. Ever. That's my first time I've ever died in this game. Do you know there's breakcore music in FF16 now? There's breakcore music? Yeah, there's breakcore music. In 16? Yeah, 16. 16. I'm not surprised. But the, uh, the new the new DLC had like a completely robot boss, and they uh, just it's had core. His... Yeah, his speed is great core. Sick. You 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 missed it. It's it's what? the jump pad. Those are those are jump pads. Oh. Um. Okay. This is just like Mario Galaxy. Ladders. Added ladders to this game, and it is really confusing. Does you nothing. You have a wall jump. Okay. I just saw it, and I was like, "How the fuck do I climb a ladder?" Even though you don't actually climb it. Also, dynamic music. Wow. Oh, cool. You made it. There he goes. Oh. Okay, first try. I win. That guy would never kill me. He's never killed me before. I've never, I've never lost to those guys. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh yeah. Okay. Two. What, what did you want to call these guys? Elon Musk. Two, two Elon Musk. And also a gutterman spawns behind you. Good to know. No, no, he's he's up here. Nice. Hunt! Hunt! Do something! Hunt! Hunt! Not now, but <laughs> Why does that guy keep screaming when he's spawned in? <laughs> he just falls from a very high place. There's actually a special um Special style bonus if you knock him off the map. It's a very long way down. Huh. That's what the bonus is called. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, uh.
I was. Oh, sniper's back. Should probably heal off him. Guy, he just fucking dies every time you spawn in. Wow. Sick. Now. Oh, fried. This is how I win. Yep. <laughs> I got a checkpoint. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a boss fight in a boss fight? That. what? Right, this, the center one is invulnerable. You've got to destroy the uh, things it spawns in. Okay. Easy to kill off of these things because uh, they're stationary. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I, yeah. Spawned in with some mortars, really shooting the mortars at you. So this little, like tubes are next to it. you. I am not seeing these guys taking any damage from my shots. It's a defense system. Help. You see? Oh, these things? Yeah, those things are also part of it. The big pillars. Yeah, it's the pillars and that tube on the side. Those are the things you can attack.
one tower left. Alright, now you gotta destroy the main thing. I did it. There we go. Alright. First try. <clears throat> hmm. The fuck is this? There is blood in the machine. There is flesh inside the machine. The machine has organs. Interesting. True detective flushing interior. Hey Mary, what's up? You're on a timer. Oh. <laughs> the entire room is filling up with acid. Oh, you you fucked up. Okay, so I'll start from the bottom first. Make sure I'm not forgetting anything, so I can just go and get this one now. That's what's left. Okay. First try. Okay. Here it is, the boss. It's just like Kirby. You gotta, you gotta just hit the thing in the middle if it's vulnerable right now. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. So I just have to keep dodging until, you know. Yep. Wait a minute. Do I have to kill the Mary? Yeah, because they're they're both protecting the, the brain. Hit it. So it's a stationary enemy. Alright, more Marys. Alright. Boltson. It shoots a giant skull at you too. That you can. You, whoa! It almost you can that. parry that. That's fine, because the Mary's heal me. Yep. yep. Easy. Now you're a Metroid fan, right? Oh yeah, I love Metroid.
I'm out of here, man. I'm out. No, you gotta kill. You gotta kill them. Okay. So mean. <laughs> Launch them a billion feet in the air. For what? Have you got on my nerves? Get out, get out! And look behind you. I win! We win! I beat Ultra Kill again. Did not look yet. behind him. <laughs> 15 red, minutes, 25 kills. Like, yeah, that's where I'm supposed to go. Nope, that's where you came from. Yeah. And that is violence. You did it, violence. What you think? Uh, it's it's peak. It's ultra kill. It's peak. It's peak. <laughs> it's peak. It's peak. But we still have 17, we're at 17 minutes, we still have 13 minutes to go. How about you say we, uh, cyber grind? Alright. Pause and cyber grind until we see, uh, you know. The, view, the viewers can see what my pictures are that I've chosen. Okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I win. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Recording this on Christmas. Yeah. Alright, so now we pause and see. And now we pause, so we the viewers can see what I picked. Oh. The... Welcome back. We, uh, I decided on the theme. Welcome to Spongebobmageddon. Yeah. I'm gonna cyber grind until uh, I feel like, you know... Until you reach the uh, 30 minute limit, you know? Yep. So you have any thoughts on the layer? It was very fun. I liked it. I think it was probably my favorite layer so far. Yeah, I definitely think that way. A lot of people didn't like Earth Mover, Earth Mover, because it's just a stationary boss. But I really liked that it was just a level as a yeah. boss. And the, and the Metroid reference. Yeah. What's this last? Blue put the rain and then on escape to see. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Where could he possibly be? And then I think atmospherically, this layer's absolutely the best one. Yeah. I don't know if you like, noticed it, but on the uh, the forest level, uh, uh, no, no, no sound, no memory, there is actually an earth mover just looming above the forest. And it doesn't do anything, but it's just chilling there. I, I think that's the coolest shit. Yep, there's this one looming there, and you can only see its silhouette, it just blocks out the stars. 
and that's like really cool. Hmm. Oh. And then I I don't know if you read the log, if you like even know what the lore of this game is. You read the log books, but um. I did not. This this layer focuses a lot on the final war that almost wiped out humanity, and uh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna nerd out because I. I, I want to. Yeah. Um, it's heavily implied that the final war was actually World War One that like spiraled out of control because of robots. Okay. Because um, V one was a uh, like in the beginning of the game they said they're like made in a uh, two thousand uh, thousand one hundred twelve, and the war is said to be two hundred years long, which means it began in uh, nineteen twelve. World War One, I, I believe. I thought World War One began in 1914. Did it? I think so. I might be stupid. Oh. Yeah, 1914. I might just be stupid. Well, I might just be stupid, or maybe I'm not. I'm. I swear. I'm booting the game up. I'm, I'm, big, I'm checking. I I'm literally that. gonna start the game. I'm gonna go and prelude into the fire yes full intro. Yeah, it's 2000, uh, 2112. So this game huh. doesn't take place during World the war doesn't take place during World War One. It could have. It could have still. Okay. Okay. Listen. I thought that was all it's... listening for a second. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> what the, the 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 Maurice? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi, we're Saul Goodman. Oh. Aaron. Aaron is. Aaron is. She's damning me on Steam, telling me to beat her times. My time, my times, Reese. Mark, beat my times. Mark, <laughs> beat my times, Mark. <laughs> okay, the the uh, the World War One theory still works out because then it is two hundred and ninety eight years, which is basically two hundred years. It right. still works out. Where's it? I'm Where's I'm it? only minorly stupid. She sent a sticker. What is this? Steam happy. I... No, it's a pig in a blanket. Oh. What's this? But um, all right. Back back to Lord nerving out. The guttermen were um airdropped into trenches, which World War One uh, trench warfare. That's where it started. And yeah. they're like the first machines to use blood. They couldn't keep the blood fresh, so they just strapped the dude inside of it. It was basically just a battlefield coffin. It's fucked up, and I love it. Ooh, Jesus. And the guttermen were so, so effective that they basically ended um, any human combat. From then on, it was entirely uh, robots, fighting robots. And... Basically, every every single resource was going towards making these robots. That's uh, the gutter tanks. Uh, that's from the gutter tank log. And then, eventually, the robotic arms race culminated in the Earth Movement, which is the big guy. These guys are so big, they can house a shield generator and are invulnerable from the outside. And the only way to kill them is to get inside. Gotta get, gotta get inside of them. And okay. they basically they ran on blood and solar power because they're just that big. They can't do it purely on blood. But the um, like sudden ash by the war clouded out the sky, and so the Earth movers didn't have enough sun to function. So they all shut down, and the war ended because they literally could not move their machines. 
And then after that is the new piece, which is where they're like, war, Let, let's not do war. Which I think I would do that after 200 years war. And bas basically, the, the war, let's the logbook say, the war, war didn't end with a bang, but an utter silence. I just think that's bullshit. Yeah. Interesting. And then if you kind of read along the lines, uh, the war was basically an arms race that ended when the uh, Earth Mooners couldn't move. And V1, the machine we play as, uh, was the last uh, machine created for the war, but it never exited the prototype phase. So V1 was made essentially to be the counter to the Earth Mooners. And I think that was cool. Huh. Alright. Well, you definitely did counter the Earth Mooner. Yep. Blew it up. It blowed up. And then they did a Metroid graphic. Hi, Dan! Dan is on the episode, guys. There he is. There he is! <laughs> and then, um, in the Earth Mover battle, the Earth Mover that you're on is actually fighting another one. In the distance. Huh. Cool, I think. I like the Earth Mover. I think he's cool. I also like the gutter man, I think he's cool, and I also like the gutter tank, I think he's cool, and I also like the mannequin, he's pretty cool. Oh no. I got a DM on Steam, please. Oh no! no! What is this? What is this sticker she sent me? Vanessa's kiss from Sex and the Furry Titty 2. Well, oh my fucking god. So I'm just going to send her on one condition. Send me your funniest stickers. God. Let's see what you got. <laughs> What is it? <clears throat> we will have an Aaron Cam in the corner. Uh, so I will set that to game capture and I will nickname it Aaron Cam. <laughs> Live Aaron reaction. <laughs> Live Aaron Cam, yep. Specific window, uh, yeah, that. Oh, there it is. Why is it all the way over there? Actually, it's probably because I have it set to whatever. I have it set to the thing. But instead, what should I do? Media source? No. Display? No. Just window capture. Yeah. All right. So we're going to get yeah the Aaron cam. Okay. We are going to put that right, right over Patrick. Because by the time you guys are watching this, it probably won't be Christmas anymore. But Aaron, Aaron is eternal. No. It's not showing. It's not showing. But Aaron is still sending me a lot of stickers. That I promise. Alright, so to make up for the Aaron cam, I will just... Uh... Let's see. Oh god, that's I got rid of Ultra Kill. I got rid of Ultra Kill. Ultra Kill's gone. No. 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 <laughs> Ultra Kill is gone. Oh man. 
So instead, what I'm, instead what I will do is uh hmm. I will stuff a bunch of videos on here until I get bored. I wonder what's for dinner. I wonder what's for dinner. Okay. I wonder what's for dinner. 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 You're a faggot. I wonder what's for dinner. You're a faggot. You're a faggot. You're a faggot. I wonder what's for dinner. You're a faggot. You're a faggot. You're a faggot. You're a faggot. I wonder what's for dinner. You're a faggot. You're a faggot. You're a faggot. I want this nigga hung by jumper cake. You're a faggot. I want this nigga hung by jumper cake. 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 Okay, I want this nigga hung by jumper cake. I want this nigga hung by jumper cake. I want this nigga hung by jumper cake. Okay, Joe, right foot I want this nigga hung by jumper cake. 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 Okay, Joe, I want this nigga hung by jumper cake. I want this nigga hung by jumper cake. I want this nigga hung by jumper cake. Right foot I want this nigga hung by jumper cake. 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 Okay, Joe. I want this nigga hung by jumper cake. 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 I want this nigga hung by jumper 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 cake. I'm gonna put a mug in the back of the head.